we are expecting, based on the fiscal plan, uh, to begin to see uh, Alberta's expenditures on a per capita basis align with the other uh, large provinces in 22-23, and in getting right into the middle of that range by 23-24. And, and I believe that's job number one as we look to position this province uh, for fiscal recovery. Uh, and that's what we're focused on right now. We're focused on, uh, again, the task at hand. Uh, resourcing health in the short term to meet the challenges of a pandemic, positioning the province for economic recovery and growth, which is also uh, critical if we're going to see a fiscal recovery in the province, and then in the intermediate and long term, continuing uh, down the, the track that we laid out in Budget 2019, and that is to, over time, over the, uh, the course of our fiscal plan, bring our, our costs in line on a per capita basis with that of other provinces. So that's what we're focused on at this point in time, and, and I believe those should be our priorities. The increasing uh, debt service costs are a function of, of increasing debt, absolutely. And, uh, and over the course of the fiscal plan, uh, as you will note, uh, our debt servicing costs are increasing. Again, right now, uh, we really believe that we need to focus on the job at hand. The job at hand is, is resourcing health care adequately, positioning the province for economic recovery, which is critical to fiscal recovery in the long term, and also ensuring that we're, we're delivering government services most efficiently. Uh, that's what our focus is today. Um, down the road, uh, when we have additional economic clarity and consistent with our platform commitment, uh, I believe it would be very uh, appropriate and important to a, appoint a revenue panel uh, to test the efficiency and appropriateness of our revenue structure. But right now, uh, we're focused on the job at hand. I'm not happy with COVID-19, having to deal with the pandemic and the resulting economic challenges of the, of, the, of the province. But this is where we find ourselves, and we have to adjust to ensure that we're uh, delivering the most competent, responsible government possible at a time like this. I am also very disappointed that uh, we can't present a balanced budget in our first term. But uh, simply put, uh, with the particularly the, the drastic uh, drop in Alberta government revenues as a result of this uh, pandemic and economic collapse, uh, we simply can't do that. And that's why um, identifying fiscal anchors and using fiscal anchors will be um, uh, so important in, in the interim. Our debt will be rising over the course of this fiscal plan. Uh, but we're pledging to keep our net debt to GDP ratio below 30%. 30% was approximately the, the national provincial average uh, pre-COVID. So if we can stay below 30%, we will ensure a reasonably strong balance sheet, which will position us uh, for fiscal recovery in the future. And again, uh, another absolutely critical fiscal anchor is to uh, bring our per capita spending our, bring our per capita cost of delivering government services down to that of comparable provinces. That was a, a plan and a goal that we had in Budget 2019. That was part of our core fiscal plan and approach. We're continuing with that approach. We need to keep our eye on the ball, regardless of where oil prices go. We need to keep our eye on the ball and look to deliver government services most efficiently.